College Football Gambling Picks Week 3 brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi. The South's premier sports gambling destination. You can watch and wager on all of these games at any of Tunica's five, soon to be six, sportsbook locations. That is at the Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Samstown, Hollywood, First Jackpot, and opening soon, the sportsbook over at the Fitz Casino. You can get more information at tunicatravel.com. You can get these picks at winningcureseverything.com. Let's jump right in. You want number one or you want me to? I'll go number one. Go right ahead. Roll it on. After starting the, I guess, week two out, one and six, the putrid one and six. Oh, we I didn't even write that down. Look, I went five and two in college against the spread yeah, last you week. You weren't even going to tell nobody about it. I went three and four the week before. You went four, two, and one in week one. And then went one, one and, and six, six. last. That's it, it's time for a bounce back. I bounce, had a losing week the first week. Back. I went five and two the next now, week. Me, this is your this is gonna, your time. We're gonna we're gonna bring this up, but this is what gambling's supposed to be about. Sometimes you go one and six in college, you don't go home, you don't cry about it, you don't whine about it, you nut up, you get back at the table. What I do in football, four and one, four and one in our picks, uh, picked you, up you went, two, picked yeah. up two extra picks. Yeah, won both of those. Hit a parlay. Hit a teaser. Yeah, bam, did. cashing mega tickets. You don't get scared. You go back up. I'm starting out, I am going to be fading Florida State all year <laughs> long. Give me Syracuse. I got them earlier at plus four. The line has moved down to plus three. Don't care. I think they have a chance to win the game. They're going up to play the Orange. That stadium. Knows blood is coming. They think Florida State is weak. They will sell that place out. That dome gets loud. Yeah, it does. That dome gets really and loud. And Eric Dungy's good, man. And I, I, I think they're going to have the best coach on the field. I think they're going to have a tough football team. I think these guys think, hey, we can beat these dudes. We're normally like a 15, 16-point dog. Man, three points? We're, we're in like, this thing. Man, we beat Clemson last year. We, yeah, we're we in this thing. Give me the cues. I think they win the game outright. Plus three. <laughs> Straight up. Take them. For me, Hawaii at Army. Y'all know I don't like messing with these big name teams. I find metrics. I find numbers that work for me. Saturday, 11 a.m. Central Time on CBS Sports Network in West Point, New York. Army is a six and a half point favorite. That line opened up at like an eight point favorite. It got bet down because everybody's so high on Hawaii right now. Correct. Oh, the running shoots back. Oh, Cole McDonald's so good. Listen, are you serious? The game starts at 11 a.m. Central. That is 6 a.m. in Honolulu. That is a body clock game if I've ever heard one, right? I mean, this is ridiculous. It's 4,949 miles from Honolulu to West Point. The game starts at 6 a.m. local time for Hawaii. Hawaii's given up 5.21 yards per carry so far this year. They are giving up 34.7 points per game. Army is going to score. Even giving up 307 yards passing to Liberty, Army still won 38-14 last week. Don't give me that Hawaii crap. Everybody thought this team was like a top 120 team, or a top. A bottom one twenty team, right? I like they were, anything. they were the bottom ten team. Look, they're coming back to earth this weekend. Wow, Hawaii ain't even getting close. Army minus six and a half, and they are rolling. Boom. My next pick, I'm going down to Stillwater. Oh, you actually betting this one? I'm going down to Stillwater. Okay, okay. Give me Oklahoma State. There give, it is. Give me the Fighting Gundies. There I don't believe is. in the Boise State. They're going to go undefeated. They're going to be the best group of five. They're going to make the New Year's Six Bowl. No, sir. This line is two and a half. Oh, yeah. Two and a half. Vegas thinks Boise is going to win this game. Everybody's betting on the hype train of Boise. No, sir. The fighting Gundies are going to come out. Now, they're going to score. This is going to be a big one. They're going to put a lot of points up. But Did you see what the over-under was on this? 70, it was 74, seven, I think. 74. Yeah, it was in yeah. the 70s. 74. Mid-70s. It might have been better up to 77, though. Um, but I'm 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 taking the Cowboys. I think Gundy is a way better coach. I just think they got better dudes. They got the home crowd behind and, them. And that place is going to be rowdy. They got motivation, all that wonderful stuff. Game number two for me, Tulane minus four at your boy Bill Clark, UAB. Saturday, right now. noon, Facebook Stadium, 
Yeah, you're going to have to watch this game on Facebook. That's right. That's I picked them big games. At Legion Field in Birmingham, look, <laughs> UAB is giving up 5.57 yards per carry rushing on the season. They gave up 296 yards rushing, which was 6.88 yards per carry to Coastal Carolina. Coastal Carolina, Tulane, Willie Fritz, that's a bad dude. They Look, gave up 42 points to Coastal for, Carolina. Even even you were selling them a little short. It was 47. Oh, well, whatever 47 the points. Hell, man. Damn. Tulane is averaging 5.1 yards per carry, and their triple option is going to run all over the Blazers. Willie Fritz, he is 42, 28, and 3 against the spread. This dude cashes tickets. He cashes it. Bill, can, Bill Clark is 15, 9, and 1. Can I, can I get out in front of something? Go ahead. Two coaches that I love so much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Neil with you, but Brown and Bill Clark. And I'd be damned if they both just them not just killing me this falling year. Falling back to earth. Killing but that's the thing. Me. Once you realize something's going bad. You get off it. You better you better jump on the other side Real, as quickly as possible. I am quick to sell stock. I won't stop loving hey, you. Look, look, but look. I'm, I yeah, can't you, get it you can love them and still make money off of them losing. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm just staying away. I am. Tulane minus four. Do it. I'm going to Pac-12 after dark. <laughs> I know that I said that I don't like betting against these big teams this year. You can't make money off of it. I think Utah is one of the toughest places to play in all of college football. Nighttime, Washington going there, catching six. But Washington six. ain't one of those big teams I, you were talking I, about. I mean, no, but they're still the best team in the Pac-12, and it's not close. Yeah, but, we'll, we'll but see what Stanford has to I, say about I that. sure wish that it was more than a touchdown. You're catching six. Man, Utah might upset them straight up. I think Utah is going to be physical. I think they're going to out. They're going to beat them up. They're just their defense is going to beat. They're this just going to beat up. them up. And and they they kind of played a little dirty. They like to get in fights and scuffles yeah, in do. games. They're not afraid of of pushing the limits and pushing you around a little bit after the they, game. They get in your head a little bit. I don't know that Washington's willing to fight. And uh, give me the Utes at home. Pac-12 after dark. I bet against Pac-12 after dark last week. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm learning my lessons, guys. Sounds good to me. This old dog can be taught sounds, some new sounds tricks. Sounds good to me. Third game for me, Miami, Ohio at Minnesota. Minnesota minus 14. It's only 14. It hadn't moved. I hadn't figured that part out. Saturday, 2.30 p.m. on the Big Ten Network. Cincinnati beat Miami of Ohio 21 to nothing last weekend in a neutral site game. Minnesota is immensely better than Cincinnati. Ooh, Miami, Miami is only averaging 3.2 yards per carry and 5.7 yards per pass attempt. 5.7 yards per pass attempt. You besmirched the good name of the Bearcats. I don't know if I like that. Look, Minnesota is only giving up 2.8 yards per carry and 4.8 yards per pass attempt. Like, that is a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> Miami is 0-2 against the spread. Minnesota is 2-0 and against the spread. P.J. Fleck has got this thing rolling right now. That's only 14. Minnesota's at home. Let's go, baby. Minnesota, minus 14. I'm going... Down to Texas. And I'm going. Do I want to make this pick? Yeah. I'm taking the Houston Cougars. Minus one on the road to Texas Tech. I think I think they're going to win the game. I think they're better than you're, Texas you're Tech. You're probably right. I, 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 their defense is, is much improved. Their offense put up a gazillion points last week. I know Arizona's no good, but I don't know that Texas Tech's any good either. I, man, I had a hard time picking. I liked my first three picks. These next four, I'm just, I'm kind of going with a little bit of gut, a little bit of feel. I, I like Houston. I don't, I don't like them on the road. But I said before the season started, I didn't think Texas Tech would win their non-conference games against Ole Miss and Houston. I got to stand by that. The Lions won. I think Houston's going to win. Yeah, the, the I metrics, thought it before sign. I'm, I'm, I'm with it. The now. metrics on that say that that it should be about a pick 'em. So like, I'm, I'm, so I'm giving up a point. So you're giving up a point. But it, look, we've both seen Texas Tech. God, I just like, don't believe in that team, man. No, I don't believe in Major Applewhite. You, you know what? That's what. That's my biggest fear in this right now. Is I'm I'm putting a lot of stock in Major Applewhite going to play a, still a Power Five school on the road, a team that they lost to at home last year. Yeah. Uh, but the other side of this is uh, the the way better thing to do than bet on good teams bet is to bet ones. against bad teams. No doubt. 
So Texas Tech was actually favored over Ole Miss. You saw how that turned out. Just in case you're wondering, my next three picks, I'm, I'm kind of not taking that advice. <laughs> it's not going to be smart. But pick, pick number four for me. The Miami, Florida Hurricanes go up to Toledo, Ohio, Saturday, 11 a.m. on ESPN2. Jason Candle and them boys are going to be fired up, ready to go. Toledo plus 10 is the pick. Mark Richt is 6-9 and nine against the spread since the start of the 2017 season. The metrics say that this line should be closer to Miami minus 6, Miami minus 7. That's all I got on this. The only thing that we know about Toledo is they beat the crap out of VMI. They beat them like 66-3. to three. None of that matters. Miami beat up on Savannah State last week. Like 66 to 3, 70 to nothing, 70 to se- uh, who cares, right? Uh, so we don't really know anything about them other than when Miami goes up against a pretty good team like LSU. Eh, not real I great. I don't know that I like you comparing Toledo to LSU, by the way. <laughs> Toledo we, we, we won as many games as we're LSU gonna, last year. We're going to have to have some talks no, about Toledo, this comparison. Toledo won more games than LSU did in 2017. Okay, that's that that's, that makes sense. <laughs> that's right. They're the Look, same team. Toledo is a is a very well coached football team. UCF they are at home won more games than Alabama last year. No, they didn't. UCF won 13 games. Well, they only played 13. Games. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. They had a better winning percentage than Alabama. Uh, anyway, it's anyway, hundred. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, man. Get out of here. You just compared LSU to Toledo. I, I'm comparing as far as Mark Richt goes. Don't listen to the rest of this crap. Toledo plus 10. Cash a check. I said last week during the recap that you should not bet against these big, the top six, top seven teams. They're going to outrun everybody. All right, now you've the, got me curious. The here. separation between good teams and... And great teams in college football this year is so big. It's, I mean, just it's a lot. It's out I, there. It's I can't, I can't do it. I'm going, I'm going. Gary Patterson. I'm going to Horn Frogs. They're in Dallas Stadium. They're gonna, they're gonna hang with Ohio State. They're gonna give them all they want. I want them to win the game so bad. I'm catching 13 points. I'm laying them. I'm, I'm, I'm taking all the points, and I'm hoping for a close game. I'd love to see an upset. Now, this is just a, a warning at home. Uh, it is never good to emotionally bet because that's how you end up betting on South Carolina last weekend. So, if you want to roll with this because you like Gary Patterson, that's totally cool. But like he said before, he prefaced it with, it's not smart to bet against the five, six, whatever best teams in the sport right now. So, that's just a little warning, all right? Next game up for me. It's gonna work out. Oh, I'm I'm about to I'm about to do you one up. Okay. Oregon State at Nevada. Oregon State is a four point underdog in this game. Saturday, six PM. You can only find it on ESPN three. You can't even find this game on Facebook. Yeah, it's not on Facebook. You gotta go to ESPN three dot com or Ocho. watch ESPN. Oregon State is a different team this year under new coach Jonathan Smith. The offense is averaging 6.6 yards per carry and 8.8 yards per pass attempt. Nevada is still getting value from their 72-19 win over Portland State, who is god-awful, okay? Portland State sucks. Don't count that win. Nevada was 3-9 last year. You can count that. You can take that to the bank. Oregon State still averaged 5.0 yards per carry, 14.0 yards per pass attempt against Ohio State. They had 571 yards total offense in Columbus. I think they're going to win this game outright. I don't care that it's at Nevada. Look, Jonathan Smith has got this offense rolling right now. They're going to outscore Nevada. The other the other part of this is is take the over. Uh, it's at like 69. Just take the over. Just take the over and take Oregon State plus four or straight up, whatever you want to do, but Oregon State's the player. My last two picks – Got killed thanks to the hurricane. I was going to take Central Florida. I was going to take North Carolina. Thanks, thanks to the hurricane. Yeah, I tried my and, best to stay away and, from And from now those games are canceled, and I had to find two more games. And I'm, I'm taking them. I'm putting my money down on them. I'm riding with them. I'm going to Ames. I'm going to Iowa State. 
I'm betting against Oklahoma. I, I know it's not smart. I'm catching 17 points, and I'm hoping they keep it close. They upset them last year. Maybe they can catch lightning in a bottle. People in Ames, the good people of Ames, Iowa, are going to show up for this game, and they're going to carry us to a cover. I'm going the exact opposite way. I am going Oklahoma minus 17 here. You don't bet against those good teams. Here's the deal. It's Saturday, 11 a.m., ABC. Iowa State scored three points at Iowa last week. That's a rivalry game. At, okay, you don't think this one is a little a little more just juice a, because just of last a year? It's conference game. Okay, look, they lost senior quarterback Kyle Kemp. This is a revenge game for Oklahoma. Lincoln Riley is going to take it personally. New quarterback Zeb Nolan went 4 out of 10 for 43 yards last week against Iowa. In 2017, he was 36 out of 66 for 533 yards, two touchdowns, and one pick in these four games. Northern Iowa, Kansas, Oklahoma State, Baylor. This dude has never seen anything like what he is about to see. Oklahoma will roll Iowa State in Ames for having the audacity to come into Norman last year and break up Baker Mayfield's perfect season. The fact that Oklahoma might be thinking about that loss has me feeling so much better about this. That I'm means so glad we're going head to that head means, on this That one. means they're living rent-free. We, we haven't had very Ferguson, many of these. In Raleigh Ferguson's. Lincoln, why do I keep calling him Raleigh Ferguson? That's the old, <laughs> old Memphis, Memphis. Memphis quarterback. <laughs> God, dog. Lincoln who's, Raleigh. There's too many Raleigh's in my life. Who's uh, who's your last pick? My last pick, I'm going with the Tigers. Give me LSU catching nine points in Auburn. Auburn That's, might boat race them. Auburn might I don't think just they're house them. Race them. But the fact that this opened at a 10-point line is just a complete lack of respect for my LSU Tigers. And we're, I'm rolling with Coach O. Go Tigers. <laughs> Last game for me, Boston College at Wake Forest. Wake Forest plus seven. They moved this game up to 5.30 p.m. Thursday night on ESPN. Wake's defense is actually pretty good. They're only giving up 3.06 yards per run. They held Tulane to only 155 yards rushing. Held them less than three yards a run. Look, never bet against a home underdog on Thursday night on ESPN. Weeknight underdogs at home are 190 and 144 against the spread since 2005. Since 2016, Wake is 2-0-1 against the spread. That means undefeated against the spread at home uh, as an underdog. Since 2013, ESPN Thursday home underdogs of 6.5 points or more are 14-2 and against the number. Well, they won't be that. That number's already moved down to like five, but it doesn't matter. Oh, no, no, I, no. This, it went up. It no, went up again today. I, I literally checked it like an hour before you got here. The number's I, down to like five. I saw it at six. I got it at seven. That's fine. Earlier that's okay. Today. But I'm that's not, fine. If it moved down to five, I, that's cool. I really wanted to bet Boston College, and I texted you, and I was just like, holy crap, it's a seven-point line? I thought it was. I thought this game might be close to a pick em. When I saw it was seven, I was like, no, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I jumped all over Dave Clawson. Uh, another another tricky game. I'll just give you a little bonus one, okay? Throwing out an extra just pick. Just throwing so out an go extra five pick. and two one time, and all just, of a sudden he's that, swinging it. Just just throwing out a little just extra. slapping it from knee to knee. Just, just something kind of, you know, for you. Vanderbilt plus 14 and a half at Come Notre on. Dame. Now, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you might want to put down just a, just a touch on it. Nothing crazy. But – the metrics, the analytics, the numbers. Because Vanderbilt's played a lot of people to get a lot no, of No, no, no. Look, this is just based on, like, efficiency, right? This, Off of how you play against the opponents you have. Yeah, Notre Dame played Ball State yes. and sucked. Yeah. Yeah, no, and no, I'm, none, I'm t- of, none, of that, none of that bothers me. I understand where you're coming from. I'm with you. But the, the numbers say no, this should go, be closer to about a seven-point game. Go ahead and give out eight picks. So this should be about a seven point game. Now this I ain't counting this on my list, but I'm just saying you That's might want to you might want to keep an eye on this one. It counts. You might want to keep an eye on it. Count it. You can watch all these games over at Tunica. You can go to any of the sports books. They're pretty you, you awesome. You can't catch that Facebook game at Tunica. No, you can. They got Wi Fi. You can't catch that. Facebook all these sports books got Wi Fi. Go check that thing out. TunicaTravel.com, where you need to go. We've given you what you need to be a winner. Go put your action down. Do that thing this weekend, this Saturday, this Thursday even. Do what you got to do. Get your money in. Make them car payments, baby.